Derby is coming up on Saturday. And in addition to those fancy hats, there's only one drink you should have on race day, the mint julep. Here with their take. That's I love that Aaron leads the applause on that. Uh, here with their take on the iconic cocktail from uh, one of my favorite places in the cities, Butcher and the Boar. Ladies and gentlemen, bar manager Jacob and GM Kevin, everybody. Hey. Hey. Kevin. Jacob will end with the best part, you making the cocktail. But yes. first, uh, okay. Kevin, first of all, let's assure the people that it's a fake boar head. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need the emails today on the Tuesday. There we go. <laughs> Kevin, what do you guys, uh, a lot of places have things going on. What do you guys have going on for the, for the Derby? I, it's one of our favorite days, actually. Yeah. Uh, doors are going to open at 3 o'clock. Okay. Um, we'll have beer, uh, beer and wine drinks and uh, mint juleps and food specials. All day long. All day long. All day, All day long. long. Yeah. And as far as the mint julep, I got to tell you, I've done, I've done hundreds of these segments. I actually don't even know what goes in a, in a mint julep. So you, what, what, what do we have? Let me switch places with you. All right. So we're going to do this. This is a, definitely a classic cocktail. Um, one of those that if you're going to go to a derby party, you should definitely do one of the mint juleps. So yes. we do it with our single barrel Knob Creek, okay. uh, which we sell the most in the world now seven years in a row. So, yeah. In so, the world. Wait a minute. Yep. Yeah. What you guys here, Butcher and Boar in, in Minneapolis sells more than anyone in the world? In the world. In the that world. Is cool. That's all your fault. There we go. <laughs> it goes into our old fashioned, exactly. but we are going to be using it in our mint julep. Too. Okay. So I'm going to do three ounces of this, okay? Okay. There three ounces. Go. Yeah. We also make a mint syrup in house. Um, this is really nice, really floral. Really cool color. Um, we do that all here, and I like it because I don't like an. I always say this. I don't like an overly sweet beverage, so I have a feeling yeah. that helps with the non-sugary, yeah, syrupy thing. Yeah. This is definitely like a spirit-forward cocktail. So okay. we got a little bit of the mint syrup here. It's spirit-forward, audience. Yeah, it's spirit -forward. a lot of whiskey. This is our Angostura bitters. We do this just as a little bit, but we're going to add some color to it later. Okay. So it is 120 proof bourbon. Oh, so we boy. need a little bit oh, of oh a goodness. temp check on this. Holy crap. So what we okay. do is, is we're going to be stirring it. We kind of bring that temp down, smooth it out a little bit so you get more of the, you know, spirit but not the bite, okay? Now will I uh, uh, burst into flames upon my first drink <laughs> with the 122 proof or whatever? It is? I don't think so. Okay, I think I think we smoothed it out enough for you. So we got okay. our butcher in the board glass stacked high with the nice ice that we have shaved. Is this ice. a cool glass audience? I love this. This is their glass. Yeah. It's All like right. an adult like slushy. So we got a little spillage, but that's Shut, part of the thing. Okay? It's like an adult slushy. Yeah, so we have the mint. This is more for the decoration of yeah. the whole thing, right? Put some mint on the top. Oh, I will I will remove that quickly. All right. <laughs> the last part that we do, this is our little twist on a mint julep. Um, yeah. We make a tincture. So the tincture is actually going to be, so this is mint tincture. So okay. we take grain alcohol. Okay. Um, we put that down in mint, so it adds a little floral taste to it. A lot of the taste that you're going to have, you know, 75% is smell. So this is kind of like the last part of it. So, so it's like, it's it's a it's a alcohol air freshener? Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> little thoroughness for you. So you can try it if you'd like. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's 100 proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay. If you want to take a little straw, dip that in there, try it out. Okay, there we go. I won't mind. Uh, there we go. It's all a part of the, the experience with the ice, too. So yeah. Impressive. That gets to your bones, yeah, that's good. I took the smallest of sips, and that was like, you will, you will really like that race. Yeah. Let me tell you, you, you won't care what horse wins. Again, what time do you guys open? Three o'clock. Mint it, juleps, it'll go all day, and then we're also going to give away a $150 gift card. Oh, nice. Yeah. And yep. the patio will be open? Patio is open, I, for sure. Again, if, you, if you're coming into the cities, uh, you, people always ask about outdoor patios. They have one of the best. They really do. It's, yeah. it's comfortable. It's cool. The vibe is great. It's one of my favorites in downtown Minneapolis. So there we go. Jacob, thank Thanks, you, my man. friend. Yeah. My hands are all wet. I'm sorry. Uh, Kevin, yeah. thank, thank you. you. Give up to the guys for yeah. more information. For more information about Saturday's event, head to thebutcherandtheboar.com. And don't forget, if you missed this segment, we'll post this whole thing on Facebook. And, of course, full episodes of The Jason Show are available on our brand-new YouTube page. Just search for The Jason Show.